Lady Bird is Greta Gerwig's directorial debut and is a coming-of-age story about Christine, who also goes by Lady Bird, and about her navigating through her senior year in high school and just dealing with uh, relationships, uh, parental issues, and what she wants to do for the rest of her life. Right up front, this movie is fantastic. It's one of my favorite movies of the year, and has a real heart to it and a real emotional depth to the characters that is not often found in coming-of-age movies nowadays. First of all, the praise for this movie has to start with Shursa Ronan's performance as Christine aka Ladybird. She is fantastic in this movie, and this is probably the best performance I've seen her give so far. She is able to take this quirky character who could come across very easily as narcissistic and egotistical and very pessimistic all the time and still make her endearing. But Ronin is able to get you to sympathize with Lady Bird and make her a very three-dimensional character when she easily could have come across as two-dimensional. Also, Lori Metcalf as her mother. At the beginning of the movie, I was a little hesitant about her character because I thought that they were just going to make her a very one-dimensional mother role who is not supportive of her daughter at all and just kind of cruel at her, in her nature at the beginning. But as the movie progresses, you're able to find out all of the reasons behind her character and all, a lot of her layers are delved deeper into and a lot of her like skins and facades are teared away at points giving her a much more emotional, deeply rich connection between mother and daughter, which I was not expecting to have in this movie. The acting across the board in this movie from the supporting cast is also fantastic. Some of the biggest standouts were uh, Jeannie Feldstein as her best friend and Lucas Hedges as the first guy that she falls in love with. They both were some of the best parts of the movie. All of the acting across the board was phenomenal. For her directorial debut, Greta Gerwin took a lot more risks than I was expecting her to take. For example, there's this scene about halfway through the movie, in which Lady Bird finds out some information that kind of changes her mind on something. And a lot of filmmakers might be inclined to have a swell in the music, and then a deep panning shot over to the incident, and then pan back to Lady Bird and have a deeply visceral reaction on her face, where that doesn't ever really happen in real life. And Greta Gerwig, knowing that, decided she's going to show the incident immediately and then cut away. Showing that because of the nature of the incident, it's something that would only be seen briefly. And the fact that this was reflected in the movie, how it actually works in life, really made the scene, to me at least, more impactful and felt more realistic. That's kind of a sentiment I have with a lot of the movie where a lot of the choices that she makes make the movie feel realistic and make the characters feel like actual high school students, which is a massive, massive problem with a lot of coming-of-age movies and or just movies taking place in high school to begin with. While I love this movie, no movie is completely without faults, and I feel like the last 10 minutes or so, there were a few things that I think could have been prolonged a bit to give it a greater impact whereas I felt like it was trying to wrap up the storylines that were made but not wrap up in as emotionally satisfying a way as they could have. I also think you could have cut about three to five minutes off of this movie and just tighten up some things and make it move a little more briskly because I felt like there were some scenes that kind of were dragged on a little bit too long or some storylines that I thought had just a tad too much emphasis put on them in certain aspects. But other than those really small details, I absolutely love this movie, and it's one of my favorite movies of the year. I would not be surprised at all if come Oscar season, Matt Calf, Ronan, and even Gerwig's name come up in some of the conversations. It, this movie is really that good. I give Lady Bird a 9.0 out of 10. This is a fantastic movie, and I urge all of you to see it. So the Thanksgiving weekend is upon us, which means that I'll have a lot more time to watch movies. So if there's anything in theaters that you would like to see me review, just drop it down in the comment section below.